device on the baby room here that somebody brought, that, that um, Sky Team group. We've got an assault hooked up here. I wonder if I need to come and check this out. This is John Fiala. He's head of the AV team. I'm saying, I'm going to stop. Can I have the information here? Okay, let me look. Let me, let me turn on my computer. And I'll, uh, I'll take a look at it. Yeah, about 1200 right now. 1200. Okay. Let's see. 1200, okay. You can connect this. Mm -hmm. Ah, a laser. Yeah. What's up? We need a laser. This is the inventor from Mexico. Ah, okay. Okay. It's Brennan Roth. i having a great time back here. 12 volts? Well, those guys, when they're talking about Bedini motors, he's a guy who's replicated some of the effects. And we're trying to document mm -hmm. if oh, he's got over the unity. Okay. There you up to 1800. Yeah. Nice. And we've got some uh, my, my oscilloscopes, so they're trying to document the input versus mm -hmm. output to document over unity. Um, until now, they've not been able to, uh, they haven't had an oscilloscope on it. So they came up from Mexico to check this technology or to, to show the technology. Very nice. What's the rotation speed on that? Rotation. Let's look at that. Oh, we got to put target on it. Oh, I it thought it did. Does that put it out of balance a little bit? Um, it has a silver target. Hmm, I can't find the target tape. Hmm. This stuff here? Will this work? Is there a target on it? Oh, okay, yeah, good. that'll work. But it doesn't seem to be. Excuse yeah. me. Take uh, up the, the, the special tape. Okay. Yes. Pardon. There we go. That's just a magnet bearing. I want to point out these magnet bearings. Yeah. Actually, look at look at the configuration here. We've mm -hmm. got a spherical magnet on top of a on top of a uh, cylindrical yes. flat disc magnet, all holding this in place, and then these holding it steady. Look at this. Look at the balance in there. That's beautiful. Okay. My get a uh, reading on the RPM? Yep. It's still speeding up. Come on. Give me something. Back it off a little. Yeah, there, that's 4950. That's probably accurate. 5000. Okay. Yeah, that's probably... 5000 RPM. It's speeding probably up. Probably about right. 5100. Um, 55. Or 5150. 52. Mm -hmm. 5230. 5240. Starting to equalize. I'm going to turn up the voltage a little bit more because we're supposed to be operating at 12. More speed? More voltage? More speed? Yeah, we are at 12. That's. Come on. Give me something there. 8100? 8100 8, RPM. 82. <laughs> wow, 82. <laughs> and just, he listen to that. There's no... Oh, that sounds just wonderful. Just a little buzz there. 8260. John's trying to hook up the oscilloscope here. Yeah. Okay. Where do you want to go? Here, I can, I can pull that up. Might be easier just to get it on the bottom here. Current is only 1.2 volt and 1.2 amps. So, do we want an insulation or not? Channel 
check both those. No, just these two right here. Okay, let's see if this is. Yeah. <laughs> That <laughs> make you nervous when that little spark goes out there. Yeah. This <laughs> I, I, I have a, a, another fit with in, in case of uh, oh, you have another circuit explosion. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have an, another one. So, so you're prepared for yes, disaster. Prepare Good. For <laughs> disaster. Got it. Yeah, we got it. Excellent. There it is. Oh. There it is. This is the, the pulse? The pulse or the motor? This is the pulse this is the pulse frequency of your core. Ah, the pulse frequency? Yes. In, in, what do you think? That's beautiful. What uh, what frequency are we running at? Is is this one we're running at, uh, uh, one millisecond. So that's a uh, let me divide that out. Uh, a pulse every millisecond, or which one would we looking at? Um, the... That, uh... Is that... Well, that would be... That would be a 6 megahertz frequency. So, we are putting DC power into this deal, and getting out RF. With a you no, know, but look at that sine wave. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, it's an arbitrary sine wave. Look at that sine wave. Mm -hmm. So, can you explain the significance of what we're seeing here? In a lay it's spiking above and below. You know, it's we're peaking above and below zero there. So it's technically still AC. But we're putting Pardon? We're putting in DC. Yeah, but and he's and but he's inverting it. Let's see, let's see what circuits he's got on here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, he's got a transistor. Okay, there's a rectifier there. There's another diode, no another switching transistor. Okay, yeah. And the capacitor is discharging. Yeah. Is there, is there a better position? I'm going to clip it over there, yeah. We can solve the two, two cables. What's that? We can solve two cables. Solder two cables in there? Yeah, for the presentation. The, uh, because it's actually, you know who would be the best for this would be Harvey. Mm. Harvey and Rob States. We should get Harvey in here. Yeah, but there's your sine wave. You're good. Wow. Can you give me a Reader's Digest version? Yeah, I need to get back out here for a little bit. Okay. Okay, go Basically, ahead. we're putting in 12.3 um, volts DC at 1.2 uh, <clears throat> 1 amps, so running around 14, 15 watts, and we are spinning at 8,000 RPM. And when we calculate what we're seeing on the uh, on the oscilloscope, we're seeing an AC. AC signal coming out of it at approximately eight megahertz. Uh, that's what John figured out from the uh, from the machine. In layman terms, um, <clears throat> how do I describe it? Basically, essentially, we are we uh, order. What's that? Okay. Okay. Um, I'll get the layman's shirt. I'll, I'll, we'll figure it out after I talk to uh, Harvey and uh, John again. Okay. Let me go get Harvey. Let me go get Harvey Fiala. Okay. Uh, turning this uh, this shaft and magnet with the rodent coil. What if we were actually? Um, I'll show you some level. Mm, yeah. Wouldn't you need to slow it down first? The, you'd have to you'd have to start from a uh, standstill, wouldn't you? There's a very no. It, 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 no it'll link up. It, it'll hook up. You just have to find the spot for it. If, if that's the rodent coil that I've been playing with, well, it's just like that. no, get it, get it kind of down on the on the deck there, and it'll just jump up like crazy. It'll it'll sink. <laughs> oh, that was Let's do that on stage. Right there. <laughs> that is it.
I was afraid it'd take it off. I almost yeah. didn't yeah, do no. that. Yeah. When it, it went into the scene. You have to be very careful. You have to keep it exactly parallel, and then it'll rotate counterclockwise with it. Okay. Right. Yeah. You well, gotta hold it. Yeah. Exactly. Be very careful with that. No, you know what would be really interesting would be what if we're not. I think we'll jump out and bite. What if we don't turn well, I, that's a what shaft with the rodent coil? What if what if we turned the shaft with some other mechanism and took power off of the rodent coil? No, you can't. Because what's really cool is I have this exact same setup I've seen with a. Uh, it's a solar motor. You have a solar panel. Yeah, and you have a and you have a uh, and you have a coil attached to the solar panel, and you have a solar panel attached to the coil, and it alternates. And because it's running off of sunlight, your switching time is amazing. So you're not actually limited to any uh, finite speed. We achieved speeds of over 20,000 RPM using just sunlight. So we could use the same exact configuration using sunlight to turn this and take the power, same power we're seeing going in, we'd then be pulling it out using, um, using the rodent coil and tiny little solar panels, little tiny solar panels mounted on that. And what would you estimate the output to be? Um, well, I don't know what the output would be in that situation. Right now we're running about 14 watts. Uh, no. No, yes, we're running about 14 watts going into the system. So. That's what I. That's what. We're Just with, ballpark estimate, off the top of your head. I I, I couldn't even guess. We we, we probably approached the. Uh, we probably approached the. Uh, we unbalanced the system a little bit with that little accident we had. We probably approached a similar amount of uh, amount of wattage, using little tiny solar panels. Uh, like maybe micro panels, just enough to turn it. So, is there any around. over unity that can be shown up there? I, I don't know yet. To to truly measure over unity, you have to have a way to measure and quantify in a controlled experiment what went in and what comes out. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, are we recording right yeah. now? Yeah. Okay. In this case, uh, to truly be able to measure over unity, this device. If we measure the DC current coming in and then some way of measuring the DC current coming out mm -hmm. as being regenerated either by the rotating spinning shaft or uh, inductively coupled off of this then and then rectify it, then uh, the eight, we, could, we could do it with the AC current. The AC current's harder but uh, to, to get a true controlled experiment. But you have to be able to measure Power in, power out. Are you going to, um, what's the setup over here? Are you going to try and uh, document over unity in that? Um, At this point, we know that one's not over unity. Okay. In the configuration that exists in right now, we know that. It's He's not come over up with an incredibly novel configuration that uh, 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 he says. Uh, taken rodent coils and rodent research um, probably two or three levels beyond uh, what we had last year here. And uh, he's done a phenomenal job. The fact that this one produces the field that it does uh, is just amazing. This one, I believe, with a carefully machined aluminum rotor in there. Um, can we help you? Hello. How's it going? Good. Great. It, Tell me the name the again of the inventor here in the, in the website. The inventor and the website is Sky Collection of uh, New Mexico. Jorge Rivoletto. Um, it has a silver target. Hmm, I can't find the target tape. Hmm. This stuff here? Will this work? Is there a target on? Oh, okay, yeah, good. that'll work. But it doesn't seem to be. Excuse yeah. me. Pick up uh, the, 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 the special tape. Okay. Yes. Pardon. Here we go. It's just a mix. This is John Fiala. He's head of the AV team. I'm just saying. I'm going to stop. Can I have the information here? Okay, let me look. Let me, okay. let me turn on my computer. Should be about 1800. And, uh, I'll take a look at this. Yeah, about 1200. Okay. Was it? Let's see. 1200. Okay. And you can connect this. Mm -hmm. Ah, a laser. And now. What's that? Uh, we need a laser. This is inventor from Mexico. Ah, okay. Okay. Brennan Roth is having a great time back here. 12 volts. 
Yeah. One of those guys when yeah. they're talking about Bedini motors, he's a guy who's replicated some of the effects. And we're trying to document if he's got a Bedini. Okay. There you up to 1800. Yeah. Nice. And we've got some oscilloscopes that are trying to document the input versus. Device on the baby room here that somebody brought that that um, Sky Team group. He's got an assistant tech here. I wanted to have me to come and check this out. The output to document over Unity. Um, until now, they've not been able to, uh, they haven't had an oscilloscope on it, so they came up to Mexico to check this technology, or to, to show the technology. Very nice. What's the rotation speed on that? Rotation. Let's look at that. Oh, we got to put target on it. Oh, I thought it did. Does that put it out of balance a little bit? 